Well, you guys missed out on a lot of deconstruction and a little bit of getting started here. Uh, we're starting with our anhydrous gear, trying to get some wood on it. Uh, we're using six by eights, six by eight across the top. Uh, I didn't necessarily need eight tall, and I went with a very, very heavy beam just because I know how we end up treating our hay wagons. I don't get inside as much as I want. So it gives a little bit of extra material in case the stuff's brought away. Enough with some structural integrity, hopefully. Uh, now we're milling down ash. There's lots of dead ash. So we're gonna have ash wagons. Make sure you get the sh in there. That could be kind of like a shagging wagon from the 70s. Um, wanting such a large beam proved a little difficult. A little bit of bark sticking through. If there's enough flat side, we'll be okay. Oh, these, I mean, these beams are behemoths to lift right now, but they're also very wet. Um, I've been drilling holes. We got this one side, it's bolted through the former tank support. And Brad will show you our lovely construction up front. Uh, it's a three by three box uh, to spread the front wider. And we have the beams bolted down to that. So hopefully there's not too much flex. I am worried about turning it rolling and whatnot. So that's why we're anchoring everything tight. And to level things out, we put a piece of treated four x four to make things a little bit more level. I think we still lean to the back a little bit, uh, but we're doing okay. I'm getting ready to drill the last hole for the beams and it's time to put a deck on it. Plus, we still have one wagon to go at the moment, which we already have one old telephone pole milled down to an 8x8 over there. Now, those are old creosote poles, not salted, so they will last longer than me, longer than Brad, and if anyone old you are as a viewer, probably longer than you. For you young guys out there, yeah, the old creosote poles. It's like they're, they're essentially tar infused. Bugs don't like them. Weather doesn't like them. So yeah, they'll last forever. They'll last longer than the deck will. But that's, I can always keep reusing the beams real easy. We're having our own version of the Highland Games. Brad's getting ready, scratching. But they're ready to lift our telephone pole. Ready? Okay. Yeah. And those ash were wet. Yeah, that was some wet. Good. How about the top? Get on the tire. Get on the tire. Get on the tire. Okay. Are you ready? Ready. Okay. Woo! Woo! Don't do that too often. These wagons will be half loaded before they're ever put got any hay on them. Oh. Yeah, buddy. That's a good 300 pounds, 300 pounds. I don't know. It's a good. But see, now I won't feel bad. We pull a couple boards on the deck and we just drop a gravity box on it. Don't have to take the bed off. I mean, I'm, we're spanning a longer width than the gravity rails do, but these things are twice, three times the board. Yeah. Just leave the deck on. I, that one looks good the way it is. That was fun. Uh, what? So that was fun. Yeah, you guys gotta see the color difference. Yeah, that's nice ash. It's light, and then these are creosote infused. Uh, telephone poles. I don't know. They're probably some sort of pine, most likely. Look how dark that is. It's like walnut. Mm -hmm. I feel kind of like I'm hurting all the woodworkers by using walnut, but it's not walnut. That's our fun. We gotta measure these out and drill some more holes in there. Mount it down. Well, we'll get back to you when we get to screwing and putting a deck on. We're catching the brad in a rare, rare habitat. He's sort of caged in. 
Where is he? Up As we above. reach through his enclosure, will he bite? <laughs> Brad's having a moment. He's enjoying what a skid steer might feel like. Avoid death. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's not running it, so he's avoiding death. Avoid overturn. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Good, yeah. Good ideas. I, like, I like this. Good ideas. <laughs> yes. It's my Uncle Jim's skid steer. Brett's having his fun. Oh, well, back to the progress on the hay wagons. Unfortunately, you guys didn't get to see the sawmill today. We're done cutting. People have things to do in the evening. Um, but we're still going to be putting boards on here. We'll probably have enough to get one wagon done. Uh, these are just about 12-inch boards. More ash. Put a gap in between sawmill. Yeah, you see our gap's a little crazy there blade went bad on the sawmill and started cutting crooked it's no big deal putting hay on it not going to a hay wagon fashion show these are almost close we're gonna have to cut down to match obviously we're making an eight foot hay wagon these are 10. you could stack a lot of hay on that sucker and we put some roof or foundation sealant on the top of this to try to seal that up real good so I ran into issues with the previous having that we destroyed. Um, it would rot, like right down in here. So I'm assuming that was because water would sit. I'm trying to seal that up, keep that from happening. If anything, I protected our beam down low really well. At some point, once the deck dries out, we're gonna slather it down in used engine oil and let that soak in. And Brad's gotten dirty. Very sad. He saw it himself with tar mm -hmm. that's a messy one um if you can see here we have marks we find the center of the board and then measure out to where our edges sh should be and make a mark so we can center it since these are so close to our eight foot goal that's kind of how we're doing it i guess we'll bring over a board and show you what fun we have This looks good for a top. Right? Yeah. Uh, I think this is the skinny side on the back. 4 1. You never seem like an eyeball to this one. Okay. Come on. There we go. You squeeze it. Squeeze it too much. Something like got it there. Twenty and seven eighths. Mm -hmm. Glad you remember that. Okay. Yeah, we're still waiting for it to dry. Yep. Lots of rain. So what we do? We play with. We do construction. Yeah. We build things, we're carpenters of sorts. We play with wood. How do you look on your mark? Um, Come my way just a little bit. Okay. I look on yours. Right on the edge, perfect. Okay, that's fine. How's your that's gap? Fine. I can make mine smaller. We're doing half. 12 and a half from that back edge. Yeah, that's right. Oh wait, no, that's, mmm, is that, I guess that edge is straight, I guess. Hmm? I guess that edge is straight. Oh. Yeah, I just realized that. Um, oh, jeez. pretty straight. 
Yeah, we'll see how we end up with the wagon. Now, he, he said these were pretty good. Yeah, I see a little ripple out there. If anything, right I think you need to... How did you measure for 12 and a half from back here? Right here. Yeah. I got... A little, a little less than 12 three quarters. So you need to go in then. Yeah. Okay. We're, we're making it up as we go. Mm-hmm. Square bells don't care whether it's square. As long as they don't fall off. It's about 12 and a half. Okay. We're leaving a varying gap, like it's seven eighths, three quarters, one inch. It's all over the place. Yep. Now it's ash, it's very hard, That's so it. we've been pre-drilling. We have to pre-drill. I've already broken a few screw caps off. A lot of jumping up and down. We've got this little impact wrenchy guy. Uh, Brad doesn't like it. Nope. I've figured out how to coax it to do what I want it to do, but I'm not necessarily the most wild about it. Again, you get to watch me drill holes. You see me drill a lot of holes. You missed some of the ones earlier for the beam. enough about making hay wagons some of our other plans it's going so horrendously planting beans oh geez my bad it's going so horrendously planting beans right we're almost thinking if we don't get them planted by like july 4th like these are some people i stopped to rent ask about their field this winter and they keep asking where am I at? Well, I'll have to tell them. I'll just wait all summer and we'll plant wheat. If we can't get beans. Like it's, this is utterly abysmal. Yeah. For anybody like Jeff Ram out there who had the drought, <laughs> I wish I could feel ya. But I'm done with water. Absolutely done. Of course, Brad has all the screws. Watch his skills. Oh. Nice. Okay, now I'll watch what fun I have. I'll post some personal. Once you get it started, it's not bad, but getting started is rough. Ah, poop on a stick. I stripped the cap on that one. Let's try this again. Ah. Uh. That too, it's so long. <sighs> yes, the ratcheting action is nice, but sometimes it's got too much torque. deep enough. Uh, that's a series for a board. I guess I don't want to make you guys watch too much. We'll show you what, what we got when we're done.